Hi guys, my name is Liesa and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing my December TBR, so let's get into it! December is a great month to wrap up everything that has been going on for the year and I have some books that I dragged on for a while which I wanted to disperse off in December however I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to do all that the schedule of December is very hectic for everybody so I'm having a hard time figuring all of that out so that said my TBR list is pretty long the first book that I'm gonna mention is probably the most important book to everybody this month um, if you have a no idea what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a book that's called The Gift Wrapping Book by Caroline Burkett. I requested this book on NetGalley because I love wrapping gifts and I'm always trying to make an effort of it and I haven't finished it yet. I've been in the process of flicking through it and I gotta say that it's better to mention it now instead of when I finish it because it will probably lose its relevance by the end of December. So uh, from what I already saw the book is written by Carolyn Burkett as I said and it's uh, quite nice. It's not very long. It's like reads like a pamphlet. You probably can find it in uh, Kindle format that would be nicer because you don't really have to have it on paper and I really like it so far because it has all these cool instructions on how to fold interesting stuff, how to make bows and also how to make your own fabrics and your own forms and for different shapes and I really enjoy what I've seen so far. I'm going to try to wrap up some of the gifts how the book says and I'm going to show you in the end of the month probably how that would go so I am hoping that this book will be very helpful. I already see that it's very useful and it's pretty short but it's illustrated and the instructions are very loud and clear so yeah I'm getting ready to finish this one. Um, moving swiftly on the second book that I'm going to be finishing very soon in the month of December is Voyager by Diana Gabaldon. This is the third book in the series of Outlander. If you haven't heard anything about the Outlander series it's a uh, basically a time-traveling series of novels uh, about Claire who travels from the year of 1946, if I'm correct, to Scotland of the 18th century where she has this epic new romance. And I've been taking my time with the series. I picked them up when I found out about the TV series by Stars, uh, as you may have heard about it. And this book has been quite popular, but now I am uh, finishing up with the thicker one, Voyager, and I'm almost at the end of it, as you can see. I'm using some weird bank receipt for my book. And it's too early to give my review of it, but I have been psyched. I started this book only a week ago and I've been only reading in transport and I really love it very very much. It's um, less explicit I would say than the first book and it's faster than the second book but it's amazing. I think it's going to be my favorite so far. The next thing I wanted to read is uh, The Gift by Cecilia Ahern. I know that she's famous for writing this these light romance literature I suppose but I haven't read anything by her and I picked this book because I saw it on a secondhand flea sale somewhere in Europe and it was really cheap and I wanted to try it out so I picked it up and it had waited more than a year for me because last year I didn't get to it I think or I didn't have it yet and since the you know the cover is speaking so clearly of Christmas time I saved it till the appropriate season came which is basically now so I don't really know much about this book it's supposed to put me in a nice festive mood I suppose it's all about being grateful and happy and holiday spirit and all that. It says an enchanting and thoughtful Christmas story that speaks to us all about the value of time and what it is truly important in life. Well, I can't pause that. It seems pretty short, so I hope I'll have time near the end of the month by the 24th, 25th of December to get through it. So yay! The next thing I wanted to read, and that's probably my fourth book that I would like to read, is The Elf Stones of Shannara by Terry Brooks. And I'm lifting this huge volume that you've already seen on this channel because I haven't gotten to the library to return it. I'm past my time. I'll probably have to... <laughs> pay some fee for me being so tardy and late but I just I just couldn't help it and I wanted to uh, pick I wanted to pick up a smaller pocket version of the Elf Stones of Shinar instead of you know lugging around this copy which is basically suitable only for bedtime reading but I don't know if I'll have time I really want to 
to finish the Elf Stones of Shannar at least. That's the second of the three novels. And I really want to hurry up with it because I hear that um, the series were going to come out in January, if I'm correct, on MTV. And I have a feeling that they're going to skip over the Sword of Shannara and go straight to the Elf Stones of Shannara, uh, based on the trailer that I saw. So I really want to know what they're talking about because I'm really going to keep up with the series. So yeah, good luck to me. The next book that I would like to finish reading in this month is... The Night Parade by Catherine Tanquery. I hope I pronounced that name right. Um, so uh, this is another book I requested on um, Nat Galley and I'm really looking forward to it because as you can see right now somewhere here that um, the cover art for the book is pretty damn amazing. The book is in the middle grade section but you can sign me up for a middle or kid book any time of the month, the year day, whatever. I really love books like that and this one is set in Japan. It's about a girl who is moving to a new neighborhood as far as I know and uh, her new friends, her schoolmates dare her to go to this old well and do something like speak to it or I don't know something not entirely good and she goes there and that that triggers something in the well and now she has to uh, complete some mystical ritual or something uh, by the end of like three days or something to save the world to escape very harsh consequences and I really like it because this sounds like something that I can relate to Kids very often do stuff that are not allowed and often when other kids say oh well don't be chicken just do it this is why we basically end up doing it and I think this is going to be a very sweet nice Christmas story and I just think that the cover is so amazing I want to pick up this book. The next book that I'm going to read is the second book in the Rift War Saga series by Raymond Feist and Jenny Words, The Servant of the Empire. Now, I talked about The Daughter of the Empire in my November wrap-up, but um, yeah, I picked this book up immediately after finishing the last one and I have stopped like one-third into it. It's very good, I've, I very much enjoy it, I like it, but I just needed a break from the world, you know, to shift my perspective. And yeah, I am looking forward to picking up the story again to find out what's gonna happen with Mara. And this book has a shifting perspective, not uh, only the first character that we met in the first book, Mara, but also her enemies and people that are plotting against her. So that's totally awesome, but I just hope I can pull it off. And the last book that I'm hoping to finish by the end of this month is So I Married a Highlander by Kate McKinley. And this is a book that I've already read like 40% into it, but as you can see by the cover, it's a cover that should probably not show to anybody reading in public transport. And I just picked it up because I was feeling like an easy, fast romance, and basically this is what it is, but it's slightly more explicit than I expected. So I felt really awkward when I got to some stages of it in Metro, and um, I'm reading it on my iPad, so it goes pretty quickly. This is one of the novels with cases of insta-love. I just wanted something set in Scotland, but when I went like 30% into it, I realized that I wanted something more serious, and this is basically when I picked Voyager. Um, but I am still going to finish it, hopefully. It's not going to be a case of did not finish for me, and I am totally ready to kick ass in this month. I've had a couple more books that I wanted to finish, but I'm just gonna have to be realistic about it. There's no way I'm gonna manage all this. Um, as you can see, I finished like six or seven books last month, and some of them dragged on from last month, so I'm going to have to make a rush of it in order to finish everything by the end of this year. So um, this was it for my um, December TBR. Please let me know down below if you've read any of these books and what kind of books are you reading this month. I would love to get some picks on Christmas books um, that I could read. I don't know if I can manage, but you know, the December holidays are coming, so I can pretty much squeeze more books into my January TBR. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel and give thumbs up to my videos. And I hope to see you guys soon. Have a nice day. Bye bye.